two men slugging it out. These two, these two men, they don't like each other, not whatsoever. They were in a heated battle. Oh! Jay Donaldson tossed upside down in the corner, and he might be hooked. T-Money just locked eyes with the NWF Championship hanging above the ring here in the Harrison Elvin Fitness Center. And Jay Donaldson tied up. He's, he's tied up. He can't get free. Chiron, nowhere to be seen. T-Money's night. He's going to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Jay Donaldson able to get himself free. And he's back up that ladder. <laughs> Team Money and Jay Donaldson exchanging poles. 20 feet up on that ladder. Oh, look out, Team Money! Oh! Team Money off the ladder, Jay Donaldson now. Just a step away. But Team Money right back up. How bad does he want to be champion here? In the NWF, it's he's the back top. up. It's the top prize. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. Both men crashing into the top rope. Chiron now trying to set that ladder up. And this could be his opportunity to retain his NWF heavyweight title here as he's climbing the ladder. All he's got to climb a couple more rungs, reach up, grab the NWF championship, and this is over. Chiron will retain the NWF championship. There it is, folks. Chiron, still the Northern Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, and still Northern Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion, Chiron doesn't look like he's done, Wellington. Chiron, I think he's gonna stop Jay Donaldson. I think he's gonna stop T-Money from even making it to Thunderdome in Fairfield. He's ending this tonight. And who's gonna be brave enough to stop him? Once again, your winner and still Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWF Aftershock. Can you believe the footage we just saw? Ladder match right here tonight in Harrison, Indiana. It was off the chart, that ladder match was. They were hitting each other with ladders. They were hitting each other with chairs. They were climbing up. They were climbing down. It was out of control here in Harrison tonight, Wellington. And what else did we see? Tell them all about it. Man, right here tonight, we saw legendary Larry D go one-on-one -on -one with Stamp Lickage. Man, Stamp picked him up and slammed him right down and got the victory. And the ladies were in action here tonight. Cindy still holds on to the women's title and gives Wellington a kick right in the old peanuts. How you feel, Wellington? I've, I've felt better. But uh, I believe we're going to have some more information coming up right here on Aftershock right after this. Man, it was great. What in oh, the oh world? I'm terrified. I've got pee on you. What the? I'm sorry. What is I'm, a, I'm a little scared of heights. Get but off of there, Willard. I got still on fire. We don't have that stuff in Texas. We do oil rig matches and whatnot. Man, let's get out of here. We'll be back with more Aftershock. Did you say oil rig match?
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWF Aftershock. Josh Wellington here with the man, Roger Ruffin. Coming up next Saturday, we make our return to Bone Crushers and some of the action you are going to see there. One-on-one, -on -one, you are going to see the bronze god, Danny Todd, as he takes on Angel. Man, that's going to be a great matchup in Wellington. What about this one? A big return match also. Muldoon against the genuine superstar, Anthony Bright. Right there, the 21st at Bone Crushers. That's right, this Saturday, Anthony Bryant going one-on-one -on -one with Muldoon. And I believe right now we have both of those men standing by with words about Bone Crushers. This Saturday, for fans who come to Bone Crushers, they will see the utter annihilation of Anthony Bryant. And then, after the match is over, they will immediately hear Anthony Bryant's retirement speech. Because, Anthony, when I'm done with you, you will never want to step foot in a professional wrestling ring again. For any fan who hasn't heard, I am bringing about a new era of brutality in the Northern Wrestling Federation. I am bringing about the second age. Anthony, this is not the first time that we've gotten into the ring together. But after this Saturday, every time you hear my name, or see my face, you will tremble in fear. This Saturday, you will be made an example of. This Saturday night, the Northern Wrestling Federation, the very best in professional wrestling, returns to Bone Crushers. Muldoon, last time you choked me out. Bravo. I'm not scared. I'm the genuine superstar, Anthony Bryant. Muldoon, I am absolute perfection. This Saturday, Bone Crushers Muldoon, try and beat perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again, NWF Aftershock. Coming up this Friday, we're in Rutland, Ohio. Big debut in Rutland, Ohio. Welcome. At the Civic Center. And coming up Saturday, we're at Bone Crushers, where once again, you are going to see one-on-one, -on -one, the genuine superstar, Anthony Bryant, as he takes on Muldoon. I'll tell you what, Wellington, the NWF always delivers. And if it's half as good as tonight was in Harrison, this coming Saturday at Bone Crushers is going to be great. And don't forget, the bronze god, Danny Todd, takes on the classic Angel right there at Bone Crushers. And we got words from the classic himself. Here's Angel. Danny Todd, this Saturday night at Bone Crushers. First things first, Roger Ruffin, this is the second time you screwed me over. The first time, July 11th, 1999, you pulled the old switch gimmick and had Rob the Bomb Williams put me through a table, broke my neck, dislocated my hip. Fast forward, April 7th, 2012. You got Danny Todd to do your bidding. Well, let me tell you something, Roger. Nobody, nobody in the NWF is gonna stop me. I'm gonna get to you. Screw me once. Shame on me. Screw me twice. Shame on you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again in WF Aftershock. Josh Wellington here with the CEO. The man, Roger Ruffin. I tell you what, Wellington, all kinds of things are going on in the NWF. What about the revolution and mm -hmm. Jesse Hyde? Are they together? Aren't they together? I know we're going to have words coming up here in a little bit from the revolution. But make sure, just like tonight right here in Harrison, you don't want to miss one NWF event. This Friday night, we're going to be in Rutland, Ohio mm -hmm. at the Civic Center. And then Saturday the 21st, we're at Bone Crushers. Mm -hmm. And then it's Thunderdome the 28th in Fairfield at the UAW Hall. Ten men inside a steel cage all going for the NWF title. And then we return to Shimmer's Ballroom on Saturday, May the 5th. It's going to be a great trail of events. Make sure you take all of them. 
But this coming Saturday at Bone Crushers, remember what happened last time at Bone Crushers? It was our Easter extravaganza. It was the lucky lottery. And do you remember Matt Stevens and Pompano Joe? What was the stipulation of that match? <laughs> Pompano Joe lost the match, and he had to dress up in a bunny suit. You know, you he wouldn't was... be laughing. It would have been the other way around because I know Matt Stevens took a shortcut. And let's, let's bring Matt Stevens in here, and let's find out. Why Matt Stevens had to take a shortcut in that match? Why he had to take a shortcut? Tell him about it, Matt. Yeah, you know, the lucky lottery. <laughs> the only thing more embar embarrassing for Pompano Joe, rather than losing that unified title, <laughs> had to be wearing that bunny suit. It had a puffy it tail a lucky and everything. Lottery, but for Pompano Joe, it couldn't have been any more unlucky. Yeah, I mean, oh, 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 that for unlucky. Oh, boom. Boom. What a night here in Harrison. We'll see you this coming Friday in Rutland and Saturday at Bone Crushers. I told Jeremiah, I told him, I told him Jesse was corrupted by the rock and roll. I know, Jesse, you are corrupted by the rock and roll. I've told Jeremiah that, and now everybody knows it. Everybody knows it, Jesse. Everyone. Where is Jesse? Nicholas, where is Jesse, where is Jesse? Where is Jesse? I told you, Jeremiah. I told you. I told you. He was corrupted by the rock and roll in his head and his ears. But Jesse doesn't understand that we do not. This revolution does not stand for rock and roll. <laughs> you have to calm yourself. <laughs> you have to breathe. You have to remember the retreat seminars. Because obviously Jesse doesn't remember. He doesn't remember the power that was given to us. He doesn't remember the feeling of enlightenment. Brother Jesse, you are absent this evening in Harrison. And guess what? This revolution stayed strong. <laughs> You know, just a few short weeks away, Brother Jesse, with your so-called rehab, we feel like you might be able to show up to Fairfield. Yeah, April 28th, Fairfield, Ohio. The world gets the first look at the brand new Jesse Hyde. Brother Nicholas brought to my attention those earphones. I thought you were focused, Jesse. Obviously, the two of us are not on the same page as you. Well, Jesse, you're on your sabbatical right now because we're trying to re-enlighten you on the art of purification on how to save lives, on how to purify souls. Jesse Hyde, you're on probation right now. You're under very strict guidelines. We want nothing but your best. We want you back. We need you back for this revolution to stand strong. But Jesse, we will not Tolerate failure. A very simple message brought to you by your saviors. <laughs> this revolution stands strong. Nobody will make this revolution fall. And Jesse, 
Jesse, with or without you, this revolution, this revolution, <laughs> well, it will continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs>